Hey there, fellow gamers, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Dyson Sphere Program and boy, things are things are starting to we're starting to move along a bit better. Last episode we got into uh, we got into Alpha Leporis one over here. Alpha Leporis one and uh, and really ramped up its production and that that was needed for the silicon. Um, now it's been pointed out that we've totally neglected Alpha Leporis four. And uh, if we look over here, there's actually uh, there's a few more silicon, which is one of the things that's a bit of a constraint. Uh, we see we've only got a mil less than a million left here, which is probably a fair bit. Uh, however, however, it's the throughput that I am really worried about because we've only got two patches, each producing one green belt, so only two green belts of silicon. Um, and obviously that's got to get shipped as well. We should probably look at some upgrades for these, these ships. Okay. Uh, so actually having this one over here probably uh, probably pretty good. What, what else have we got over there? We've got some stone uh, Very little copper, which is fine uh, It's got a 99% construction area, which seems really nice if we compare it to our world uh, We only had 60% construction area. So that, that's a pretty big pretty big uh, difference Our solar ratio is pretty low. It's a fair way away from the star. No surprise there and the biggest problem, of course, is it's actually quite a distance. So it's 2.84 AUs compared to, this is basically the maximum distance this could possibly be uh, in both cases, uh, 1.37. So yeah, it, it's it's more than double, slightly more than double the distance uh, in these two. Uh, there are going to be cases where we're, we're just running this different orbit here, and, and that'd, be, that'd be pretty good. So... Uh, in fact, we can see this has an orbit of 1.84, and this has an orbit of 1. Exactly 1 AU. I guess the astronomical unit is defined as Earth to the Sun, but in this case they are defining it as there to the Sun. Very good. All right, with all that in mind, uh, what I want to do is go to that other planet and just uh, start mining some more silicon. Uh, there was nothing too exciting, was there? Do we have any crude over there? Uh, no crude, tiny bit of coal. Uh, it's basically just going to be iron. We'll, we'll probably tap into some iron. Uh, we haven't tapped into any iron here, have we? This is probably a better one to do some iron and copper on. Um, but yeah, when when needed, we can tap into some silicon and some titanium. For now, though, uh, this is our purple science, which we built some time ago. And uh, you can probably see a little problem here. Uh, our our graphene. Our graphene is very sporadic and the reason for that is of course we just haven't ramped up the graphene. Uh, the graphene is over here somewhere. Here it is and look we've got two we've got two things making graphene and they themselves are missing energetic graphite aren't they? That's what's holding this back. Yeah so this one's only running every now and again. What, what's the ratio? We actually need... oh we need three uh, three energetic graphite and this other recipe is looks like a material that we don't actually have some kind of like ice or um, I don't know we we'll probably look it up in the technology for graphene it requires it doesn't actually it doesn't actually show it there before I go any further here let's do a quick look at some upgrades uh, I'm just ignoring solar sales now cargo stacking isn't something we want uh, I don't really care about research speed. So, we can do vanualization. That's a lot of purple science. We'll, we'll skip that one for now. Here we go. Logistic carrier capacity. Definitely want to get that. Uh, and that one is still a fair bit of purple science. We'll leave that one. Requires drive engine level 4. Requires what? Logistic... Was it logistic drone? Uh, requires logistic... No, just drive engine level 4. Okay, where's drive engine... Uh, drive engine? Did I go past it? I mean, I've clearly, I've clearly gone past it. I've clearly gone past it. These are the level four ones. Drone engine level four. We already have. Uh, man, am I, am I just like? I'm, here it is. Here it is. Here. Uh, and this one requires gravitational wave refraction. Is that actually a tech? Is that is that a regular tech required? Gravitational wave refraction. There's a gravity matrix. There is gravitational wave refraction. Unlocks graviton lenses and the space warper. 
Uh, ooh, you can use one green matrix, science matrix to make eight space warpers. Uh, and this is the the green particle trap, which is somewhere. I remember I remember seeing that one. Uh, and the diamondy things. Anyway, uh, so graviton lens made of strange materials, which distort the space. And I, I believe the space warper, yeah, consumable, used to activate warp of mecha and logistics vessels. Use the capsule key to start the warp engine. So this will allow us, I believe, to go much faster to other sun, other solar, solar systems, other star systems, uh, and we'll need them in the future. But for now, we're, we're still staying in, in our area. We don't really need that, because that's going to be pretty expensive, I think, uh, to rely on that for our things. But getting this to upgrade our logistic carrier engine, that is an extra, like it does the warp speed, but it does increase the flight speed, so I think it's probably it's probably worth uh, unlocking this eventually. We'll need that, we'll need that, and we'll need that. All right. Uh, before I, I mean, we've got to make sure we're also that's the purple science one. Uh, we're we're not using sorters three, so those don't matter. Uh, this is going to require that graviton. We we can queue it because we're actually we we queued it up. So uh, I guess we'll we'll queue that one. Uh, energy circuit. I mean, it's a lot of that's a lot of science. We're not really using blueprints, uh, but I might get that one anyway because that is a that is a big increase of 600 facilities up to 3,000 facilities. Now, as I understand it, a single belt counts as a facility, so it is actually pretty easy to get up to 600. Uh, this would be nice. Yeah, look, we, I mean, lots of things. Lots of things will be nice. Let's not get caught up. Let's figure out what's going on here. Um, well, A, the energetic graphite. So what we want to do is uh, we want to find a couple of coal seams, if we can, that are close together. Uh, let's bring this on the north. And uh, we've got this one here has a million coal, which is actually really nice. Uh, this one here is untapped, and this one here is actually just doing. I, I'm gonna. We might modify these ones here. I think is a good one because we don't need. We don't need the power from coal anymore. Uh, again, we we can't get that split. Um, but I do like having these, and we can probably get a good. We can probably get a good amount of mining out of that. All right, I'm okay with that. So let's block those off for now. Uh, let's grab all of that stuff and grab all of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another miner here. Another miner here. I mean, we can definitely we can definitely do some more with this, can't we? If we can get, say. Ooh, yeah, uh, say so four miners on each side. This will be a nice amount of coal. There and there. One, two, three, four. We'll rearrange this. All right. Gosh. There. There. And I. It's probably look. We, we probably can fit another one in there, can't we? A decent one. Yeah, look at that. Okay, okay. All right, that's uh, that's pretty pretty good. Now, what I want to do? Do I want? What do I want to do? I think I think we're just going to mine both of these, and that does not have any space left. So what we'll do is we're just going to put them all into our logistics network. And you are definitely going to need some bots now. Uh, while I'm while I'm doing this, we actually I did mention last episode I was going to do some work off camera, fix some stuff up. I put in uh, that second titanium smelting column. I also fixed up. There were some some issues with the uh, with the uh, the silicon high purity silicon smelting. I had some Mark One belts where I need to upgrade to Mark Two. Uh, all sort of that's all running fine, but. I was putting logistic drones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We saw, we saw it, we saw it. Uh, I was putting logistics drones in in the logistics station, and I put in fifty, and I'm like, oh, that that's pretty good. 
However, 50, each one carrying 40 capacity is a, carrying a total of 2,000. Um, now, we only had one one green belt, which is, what, 12 a second? Uh, assuming a travel time of, say, 10 seconds, which for math makes it really easy, it's probably actually very conservative. Uh, a lot of them are only traveling kind of there and back, I'd say maybe six or seven seconds, just eyeballing it. No actual calculations there. But assuming 10 seconds, uh, in a 10-second flight, uh, if we have only one drone, it's carrying four a second. If we have three drones, it's carrying 12 a second. Uh, yeah, we didn't need very many drones in, in those towers. So I cut it back. I think I, put, I think I ended up putting five or ten in there because um, it was just easy to split. Anyway, there was just some, some nice math that actually I enjoyed. I enjoyed doing the math. All right. Uh, so now we have, we actually have eight here, and I'm going to go against my original theory, and we'll we'll actually have a few rows, a few rows coming into this, uh, is that one there, coming in here, and we'll just make sure that we get the f uh, a f kind of a full capacity out of here. So if we do that, and then these ones come in here. You go into there, and then we'll get these ones to come down here. A nice little angle there into there. That should allow us to connect that and that. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, that is a decent amount of... Uh, can we cover the rest with that? We cannot. Uh, what if I shuffle you a little bit closer? Ah, look, uh, for the sake of one power pole, I'm not going to stuff around. Uh, our power's actually gone yellow now, uh, which is very surprising. Uh, obviously, this power line here that we took out was actually pretty important. Uh, we do already have a bunch more, bunch more of these, so let's lay down a few more in the poles. Uh, if we've got some area that we can, an area that has some land, maybe uh, this is kind of kind of the annoying thing is we we're running out of uh, we're running out of soil. Fly, fly, fly. I don't know if it's quicker to to do it uh, that way or not. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's uh, let's ramp this one up. Is this one the better one? I, I don't even know at this point. Maybe uh, maybe we're better off just running a line wherever we can. Uh, oops, don't don't do that one. Closer to the equator. And trying to pick an area that is. Uh, oops, not M. I want to get in the construction map. We need to actually bring up one of these. If I get one of these lines and we just uh, we just go. Nope, that was uh, that was not it. All right, we'll try and uh, we'll try and cover as much of this line as we can without getting too. What is that making? That is making stone. All right, yep, cool. Uh, and then we, uh, yeah, then we run into some issues. Is that the line? We're on the inside of that line. There we go. All right. At some point, we might, we might want to uh, rip these out. For instance. Okay. Let's shrink this minus minus uh, three by three. I think that is the size of one of these. Is it? Or is this two by two? Uh, let's let's see. We should be, actually two by two should be okay. So I think that it actually goes a bit wider, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right. Two by two, we, we minimize minimize the actual amount oops, of stuff that we're using. The only problem with this click and drag is I can't just click and drag and run and run the whole way. Uh, we could um, we could bury these veins, couldn't we? Vein restore. Land decorate is that? Uh, is that how we bury them? No. Lay foundation decoration, vein restore, veins bury. Oh yeah, okay. 
Why not? For the sake of progress, let's get rid of some iron. I think we can, I believe, I believe we can just restore it. Uh, this is going to be very costly on the old foundations, isn't it? Uh, something like that should be okay. Now, the the advantage to running closer to the equator is uh, is that we get more of them in the one line exposed to the sun at any given time. Uh, the disadvantage is is this: it takes a while to takes a while to run all the way around and uh, and place all of these because we've got to go all the way around the, all the way around rather than at the poles where we can just sort of be in one spot and just run it. Uh, this line actually turned out pretty well so far. There's not too much ocean, and I say as we get to a big chunk of ocean. Uh, that was getting a little bit dodgy. No, up to there. Great. Uh, we've still got some kind of planetary indication there, and uh, that's going to be we're we're hitting the ocean now, aren't we? Uh, there we go, bang. Yeah, this uh, this is going to cost us. This is going to cost us a lot. But the problem is now, now that I've gone this far, uh, I don't have enough sewer pile. Uh, now that I've gone this far, it's actually going to be a problem if I don't keep going, because we'll end up with a section of this ring uh, that's a big section, actually, that's not filled. Now, where is... which one is this ring? It's It's hard to tell now with that line... Is it this one or is it this one? Uh, just going by my eyes, I don't think it's this one. Oh man, this is this is going to annoy me if I don't have these lined up right. So let's go, let's go to the other side. Oh yeah, there's there's a big chunk, a big chunk over there that we're going to miss out on, uh, which means there's going to be a period, uh, a period of the day. Well, a period of rotate planetary rotation where this isn't going to actually be producing as much as we would have liked uh, I can't do a can't do a berry I can do a berry okay good good uh, yeah so our soil pile is is non-existent non-existent now uh, we can probably get a bunch right here if we put in what's the biggest building what is the biggest building we have uh, chemical plants? What if I were to put in a bunch of chemical plants? A bunch of chemical plants. Uh, did that actually flatten? No, it did, it did. Okay, so that's that's a pretty pretty quick method. Uh, I would love to have like control control Z. No, it didn't like that. There you go. Um, yeah, the, it, it's okay. I'll, I'll probably do that a bit off camera because this is this is not very not very exciting. Uh, how far we're not going to be able to get much further with that small amount that we just got, but you know we'll um, we'll do what we can. There we go. That is that is what we can. I might have stuffed up that bit just there. Nope, we're good. We're good. Alrighty, uh, that has given us a bit more satisfaction, which is actually fine because you can see now the sun is mostly in that ocean area. Mostly in that ocean area. We could try and find uh, an area over here of a similar line. Yeah, okay, okay, this is what we'll do. Uh, we will pop this here. Uh, that one there. All the way up to there and this will at least give us some of the coverage that we're missing uh, likewise we can follow this line down to this island and uh, and look we can just we can just pick another line here can't we uh, I think this line here should be able to go all the way yeah all right. it's not uh, it's not the perfect ring that I would have liked to see but I think it's all right I think it's okay and we're not using, we're not wasting too many. We're not wasting too many. Uh, there's another line up here, and there's our line we were going to. Okay, this this is fine. This is fine. It, uh, it looks a bit annoying, but hey, we we got there. Lack of item. Uh, we've we've used them all up. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, that was quite a few solar panels, and we've pretty much ringed the whole planet. Pretty much ringed the whole planet. Uh, the thing we will have to do, of course, is connect this up with some power poles. Uh, that's going to be a slight problem, is it? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Alright. Maybe. Can I reach across? Oh, I can. Connect up. Beautiful. Alright. And then over here, we've got this island here. Do those, do those actually connect up? I can't see the lines. I can't see the power lines in between those two. We'll, we'll pop on there. Uh, and then get rid of that. Uh, let's see if we can get across this inlet here. Yes, we can. All right. That is now connected up. And the last of our ring over here was already connected, wasn't it? Because it was it ran alongside some of our other production. All right. And there we go. Okay. Satisfaction is it's back. It's back. Now, let's get over to our coal that we are trying to do in the dark now. Uh, coal reserves, a million. That sounds very delightful. Alright, now while this is happening, of course, I should have set this to coal. Uh, coal. That's 5,000. I wonder if... No, we cannot, we cannot have a duplicate item like, oh, can we store 10,000 in there? No, the answer is no. No, you cannot. Uh, so this is... Uh, it's hard to sell now because these are full up uh, thanks to everything. Alright, uh, let's get... That looks like a nice starter over there. I mean, four's not ideal, but... For the sake of actually getting in a bunch of these... Uh, that's a disappointing placement of the tower. Uh, which I'm not going to move now because, you know... Reasons. Uh, yeah, look, that'll do... That'll do... That'll certainly do and this last one here uh, with only four surely we can do better than that oh I saw it, I saw it is this alignment apparently, it's still only four though All right. anyway, anyway now we just gotta sneak these belts over here like that Coming around. Um, that one we'll bring in separately. So you can go into there. And then we'll have that one there. We'll have this one runs in here like that. You go to there. All right, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, research results. Miniature particle collider produce deuteronium, deuterium and antimatter stably, but will consume a lot of energy. All right. Uh, we should probably get some deuter deuterium uh, going sooner rather than later. Because uh, I imagine that's something that we'll want lots of in the future. Did, I connect? did that connect up? I can't see. It did. It did. Alright, and then the last one here will run around like that. There we go. Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent amount of coal into the network there we go and already we're at we're at 5,000 so uh, what are we going to do with that coal well of course we are going to uh, we're going to do some smelting and honestly uh, why don't we just do some smelting here now that we actually have that in there um, this isn't a bad place as far as our constructability areas uh, we've got we've got a major line there, so if we just do a something coming in there and a smelter, we've only got 26 because we used them all up on our last area. Uh, if you are making energetic graphite, so you are two coal to one energetic graphite. So again, we have the same kind of line we had with our high purity silicon, where we have one output an input and then on the other oops on the other side another smelter 
uh, doing it there. And was at the same times, uh, one every two, it's using one call a second, so we can fit 12 of these on. All right, that's, uh, that's pretty good, pretty good. It's exactly the same as the high purity, is that the level ones? It is the high purity silicon. So we do that, we do that, and we get you coming down here. So that's two green belts out. Uh, and I need one of you doing that. All right, there we go. And then here we do the three and then a gap, and we do that for four runs. Perfect. You're the same. And then we can get some power poles. Uh, I, I do I did see that we missed some belts at the end which will be uh, which will be a problem but we'll uh, we'll hook those up and then we'll uh, we'll copy and paste the recipe yet again all right so you go out to there you go out to there and we'll need you to run from there all right and then we can just copy that recipe yep and copy that recipe all right Beautiful. Now we just need to bring in some coal. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we kind of, we used up everything, didn't we? We used up everything. Uh, you're going to go there and you're going to run over the top of that as well. Over the top of that? Yeah, sure you are. All right, we'll get you to run over that and we'll drop you down a little bit after that. And then kind of snake your way over to... This is the middle one there. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll snake your way over to join that one there. It's it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, you are going to need a filter of that. Uh, likewise, you... I think you probably can just jump across there. You can. Wonderful. And then over to there, and then down to there. Excellent. Now we need to get something else in here, uh, which is this energy graphite. We can do that on that line, all the way in to there. All right. There's a full green belt of uh, of graphene. We we can maybe get more green belts out. Uh, we do need to set this to energetic graphene. There we go. Let's pump that up to 100% for our drones, and now we have now we have the graphene running. Uh, something is not working. Something is not working. This output we haven't we haven't actually set the second output filter. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Another coal. All right, that was um, yeah, that was uh, that was funky. Uh, what's uh, what's your you're connected to seven veins, so that is um, where's our where's our utilization? I think uh, if I look in the upgrades, does that tell me the ore utilization, uh, ore consumption slash minor product eighty three percent? I think that's the opposite of what I want. Uh, is it still is it still just thirty per minute per node? Is that still the case? Uh, th oh no, it's okay. So now we're doing thirty nine per minute per vein, um, which is a thirty percent increase. So instead of doing half a second, uh, we're now doing point five five a second. No, let's just say half a second. Uh, so to get 12, we need 24 covered. Uh, so that's 6, 12, and 19. Uh, so actually with, with that one included is one green belt. And 6, 13, 19, 24. That's a, that is actually directly two, two, green, two green belts. Um, so, uh, so what I'm thinking, what I am thinking is we change this around again and actually do directly put in another smelter here. Uh, this is still not working correctly. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Um, 
Well, what have we what have we done here? We've copied we've copied the wrong bit, haven't we? That was uh yeah. I'm sure someone spotted it, and uh, it was not me. Yeah, well, with that one being there doesn't actually matter because we're just going to we're just going to copy this sorter in from the middle, and then copy that, and then run it with the spacing all the way down there like that. Okay. Now we should see a full row of graphene, and now we should be able to copy this. Copy this and paste it uh, right here. Coordinate proportions in the area is different. Um, I don't like that at all. That sucks. That sucks. Why are you telling me this? So I can put it in here. But I can't go over that line. Uh, I can't go under that line. Wow. That is really limiting. Um, Alright, well, I mean, I guess, I guess at the end of the day, we're just, we're building another one here, aren't we? Uh, so that one comes in all the way down to there. We have one, two, three, and then uh, this one runs up to there. And then one, one, two, three, and then this one runs down to there. Alright, alright. We get some more graphene. Is that the right one? That one goes there. Tab and bang. And then that one. I mean, honestly, this is much easier than the blueprint, isn't it? Uh, that one runs down there. For something this simple, yeah, the blueprint's not necessary. Uh, we'll put these ones on this side. You'll probably get away with less power poles but here we are all right so what I want to do now is try and do some splitter magic to actually make this uh, do what we want make this do what we want uh, I'm going to I'm going to erase that one we're going to put a splitter here uh, however I'm going to change this a little bit you're going to come in on that angle. You are going to come in there. And you are going to go out to that one. All right. And then and then we can get one out here that is like super dodge running over to here and then up uh, up there, but we'll probably have to get rid of those ones and down to there. All right, have some coal, by the way. Uh, have some coal. Have some coal. Have some coal. Everyone, everyone, get some coal. If I if I was a bit quicker, I could probably get rid of it much faster. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have now we have this. Uh, we want to actually prioritize the output there. Uh, is that right? If I prioritize the output there. This will make sure, this will always fill that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that seems to be working. Uh, and then we are now left with this section here. Uh, I need to connect to this one with a splitter. Uh, and we can do that with a splitter. Like there, I think. It should work. Uh, let's get rid of one more of that and then go from there into uh, we've got 3D 3D is a killer now uh, onto the ground there and into there beautiful uh, this one goes into there and then this one just runs into into there alrighty uh, and then you my friend no not the belt give me the splitter please uh, we haven't actually got this output here. It goes up, comes out there, and you get the priority. Alright, and there's our second belt. Uh, second belt. Let's go up a few and run over here. I don't know. Why not? Why not? God, this is... It's a... 
I feel like I'm working in uh, in like Sim City or something, and we're just building a big overpass. Can I get down to there? I can. All right, let's uh, let's just move away from here, and honestly, never never talk about it again. Uh, if we don't if we don't see it again, we we won't need to worry about that stupidity that I put myself into by trying to feed it all in here uh, initially. Yeah. It never happened. It never happened. Okay. Uh, let's not forget, though. Let's not forget to connect this up here. And we can do that by cheating a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a little bit better, isn't it? Bang. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. So... Storage is available, and graphene is available. Now we just need to have... Well, I mean, I could feed the graphene back in here. Or we could do a better option of... Uh, of just making it a tower. Uh, going somewhere going somewhere better to make this, I guess, is the key. Uh, although, the sulfuric acid here is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, we don't have any room there. Uh, however, the plastic here is actually... I just I just put it in there because I was carrying a lot of plastic. Which means which means we can bring out some energetic graphene here. Uh, so if you demand that there, we will easily get it uh, very, very quickly. I think we're... We've kind of shot ourselves in the foot the way that is set up because of this box which is actually not required anymore so let's get rid of that box and let's make this look a little bit neater get rid of that all right and then we can bring out here some energetic graphene uh, probably want a splitter no no this should be fine Uh, if I put it the other way, though, because what I want, I want to, I want to have it prioritise this throughput here. Yeah, that's that's got it. All right, uh, there's our filter for graphene, and away you go. Okay, and that means now we have we have this area here to play with, which isn't very much. Uh, you can disappear and destroy all of our power network. Uh, of course, there we go. Now, how many of these could we fit in? Could we fit in two? We can fit in two. All right. Jolly good. Uh, we'll get you to come down here and you to go up there. And now we can... No, can't do that one. Apparently. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, slightly more, slightly more uh, energy graphene. It's still not much. It's still not much. What are we, what are we actually producing here? This is... Uh, two every three seconds, so it's not quite one a second each. Um, two every three seconds, four, six, that's eight every three seconds. Uh, yeah, yep. Two, two and two thirds a second. It's better than what we had. It's better than what we had. Uh, the main issue, of course, is our lack of sulfuric acid. Uh, and this lack of sulfuric acid can be fixed, you guessed it, by more sulfuric acid production. Uh, although, we've got the issue here of this just being real ugly. Uh, what has this got on it? Regular stone. I don't think we have regular stone coming in anywhere, do we? Uh, no. And in fact, we are locally sourcing this regular stone. Uh, which means maybe maybe I don't mess with... Maybe I just don't mess with it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that section there. We're going to run... One, one, two, three. We're going to run out because that just gets it out of the way. Uh, one, two, and then three. All right. That just gets it out of the way, and then we can run all these. And yes, I will still continue with this craziness that we have here. Uh, okay, can we fit two in here? We can just, just barely. Is that going to be enough stone? Probably not. Uh, can we fit another miner in here? That is questionable indeed. Uh, we can... 
No, something did not let me do that. Collides with another object. I think the... Ugh. Uh, that would be pretty good. There we go. And then another one over here would also be pretty good. Alright. That should mean that we have uh, enough output of stone. Uh, okay, we need to go over there and then under here and kind of <laughs> over again, over again. Can I, I, I can't do that, I can't do that. Um, we just need to relocate this power pole somewhere else, please. Uh, this is just the plastic, I, I don't mind stopping the extend expansion there that's okay uh, we're gonna have to go probably over that stone anyway uh, over to here over to there and then down to down to no no I think I think that angle is not sharp enough let's uh, here go down to the ground. Uh, no, that wasn't connected. All right, down to the ground. And uh, just snake it in. Just snake it in. Gosh. All right, and then we can also hook up uh, that stone. In the end, we probably actually had enough from this one stone, didn't we? <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, but, you know, I like to, like to live large. Um... We've already upgraded that. We'll make sure that that is doing everything it can. And we're missing some power poles over here. That one there should fix it. All right. That's our sulfuric acid is now working. It is, it is not working. It's not working. Uh, there is room for another one of these, isn't there? We could just, we could just do that. And then I think we will we'll be able to keep it going. Uh, do, do, do. Yep. Okay. That's that's got it. It's now now fully operational, and we're going to be using up all of our refined oil. That's okay. That's okay. We've got heaps of energetic graphene, and our regular graphene is now mm, now going okay. Now going okay. Okay. Negative fifty in transit. How does that look for purple science? Well, um, I mean, it looks pretty good now because remember we're not using purple science. Uh, that is that is great. And uh, while I'm here, let's do that and let's get rid of these inventory items that we have, and then bring back up the inventory items so we can see where we go because that was upsetting some people. And look, I, I can understand seeing those numbers. Uh, but we have a bunch of a bunch of purple science, a thousand stored up. All right, uh, we're well over time, well and truly over time. That took a lot more, uh, a lot more effort than I was anticipating, mainly because we had the power problems halfway through. But they're looking looking pretty good, and we've got now our graphene slightly better. Uh, it's still it's still nowhere near enough, nowhere near enough. But we'll. We'll be needing graphene for other things, and at that point, we will probably build a larger graphene production. So, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say a massive thank you to my amazing patrons, and I'll catch you next time.